Hey guys, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to multiply using standard algorithm. I have a three digit by one digit problem listed out right here, 324 times 8. Um, I have the box method written over here, which is what you guys are most familiar with, probably. Some of you guys may already use this um, way of doing it, but some of you may still be using this way, which is fine. Either way is okay. Um, if you are interested in learning the standard algorithm, though, this is the perfect way to learn it right here. So just as a review, if I were to multiply 324 times 8, I'm going to need to use, or I could use the box method over here. I would break my box up into three different boxes, and notice the way that I have them color-coded here is also how I break them out by place value up here. So 3 is worth 300, 2 is worth 24 is worth 4, and 8 is worth 8. So if I were using the box method up here, I would have to do 8 times 300, and I know that that's 2,400. Then I would have to do 8 times 20, which is I, I know is 160, and 8 times 4, which is 32. So then I would take all three of these values in each of my boxes, and I would add them up. So 2,400 plus 160 plus 32. And as you might have heard me say before, I choose to use one big addition problem. You surely don't have to. You can break them up and do two at a time if you would like to. So as I go down to add 0 plus 0 plus 2, that's 2. 0 plus 6 plus 3, that's 9. 4 plus 1 is 5. 2 plus nothing is 2. So my answer there would be 2,592. Now, I'm going to show you what that looks like over here as standard algorithm. So the first thing that I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with my ones digit down here on the bottom, and I'm going to go 4 times 8. So I know that 4 times 8 is 32. And you may notice that that's a two-digit number. I can only put my ones digit down here. So my 2 is going to go down here of 32, and my 3 I'm going to carry up here on top of my 2. So here's my 3. Okay. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to need to multiply 8 times 2. So I know that 8 times 2 is 16, but I can't forget about this 3 up here. I have to add that digit to my 16. So I have 8 times 2, which is 16. 16 plus 3, 17, 18, 19, that's 19. I have to put my 9 down here. And because it's also a two-digit number, I have to carry my 1 back up here on top of my 3. Now, last thing that I'm going to need to do is multiply my 8 times my 3. So, 8 times 3 I know is 24. 24 plus 1, can't forget about it, is 25. Now, because I don't have another number over here, I put my two-digit number down. So this time I'm putting down 25. So the answer here that I would get is 2,592. If you're more comfortable with the box method, you could always go back over here and check to make sure that your answer is matched there as well. Okay, let's try another three-digit by one-digit problem. So let's try... Five hundred eighty eighty three times six. All right, so this time when I go to multiply again, I'm going to start with my ones. So I'm going to go six times three, that's 18. So I'm going to put my eight down, I'm going to carry my one up. So then I've got 6 times 8. Well, I know that's 48. 48 plus 1 is 49. 9 goes down. 4 goes up. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 plus 4 is 34. So my answer here is 3,498. Now, we're going to try and step our game up a little bit, and we're going to try this with a two-digit number. Okay? So... I'm going to erase my answer here, and I'm going to leave all of this the same. I'm just going to add a 2 right here in 
my number. So now I've got 583 times 26. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to start again with my 6 times 3. And I know that 6 times 3 is 18, just like we did before. So I'm going to put my 8 down, carry my 1 up. Then I'm going to go to 6 times 8. Well, we said before 6 times 8 is 48. 48 plus 1 is 49. I'm going to put my 9 down, carry my 4 up. Then I have 6 times 5. And 6 times 5 I know is 30 plus 4. That is 34. Okay, so I have 3,498. Now, when you are multiplying a three-digit by two-digit number in standard algorithm, the most important part, and I can't stress it enough, the most important part is that you cross off your one digit here. You're finished with it. You've multiplied each of the top three numbers by that ones, and you also cross, up, cross off your numbers that you've carried over up top. Okay? You also have to add a zero as your placeholder right here. You are no longer multiplying in the ones place. You're going to start in the tens place. So you've got to make sure that your first thing that you multiply, that digit goes right down here. Okay? So I'm going to start in my tens. Two times three. Well, two times three, that is six. I'm going to put my six down. Then you've got two times eight. Well, I know that 2 times 8 is 16. I'm going to put my 6 down, and I have to carry that 1 up top here. Then I've got 2 times 5, which is 10, plus 1 is 11. I'm going to put both 11 down here. So then I have my two numbers, 3,498 and 11,600. And I'm going to add those two numbers up. So... 8 plus 0, I know is 8. 9 plus 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 5 down, carry my 1 up. 6 plus 4, I know is 10, plus 1 is 11. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus another 1 is 5. And 1 plus nothing is 1, so my answer is 15,158. Okay? Now, we're going to try one more of these together, so I'm going to go ahead and erase this. Alright, the next one that we are going to try is 324. Uh-oh, if my purple will work with me. 324 times 36. And again, we are going to multiply these two numbers together using standard algorithm. So let's say I had 324 boxes of oranges. Each box had 36 oranges inside. And if I want to find the total number of oranges that I have in all 324 of my boxes, I would need to multiply that number. So we're going to start there. We're going to start with our 6 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24 going to put that 4 down there, carry that 2 up. Then I've got 6 times 2. Well, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2, 13, 14, carry my 4 down, 1 up. 6 times 3 I know is 18, plus 1 is 19, so now I get to write my double digit number down, which is 19. I have 1,944. Cannot forget about this next step. Cross it out, cross it out, cross it out. Add your zero there. All right, now I'm ready. Ready to go to my three, the digit in my tens. Three times four is 12. Two, carry your one up. Three times two is six, plus one is seven. Three times 3 is 9. Here, I'm going to add it up. I'm going to use my black. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 9 plus 7 is 16. Carrier 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 9 is 9, 10, 11. 
11, I'm going to use my comma, so I get 11,664. Please let me know if you have any questions. There will be other videos coming out about this skill as well. This is just a quick introduction to multiplying using standard algorithm. Feel free to try a couple problems on your own at home.